yeah, you can kind of see how the muscles look a little bit different. Here's the chair that I will be using. Shower was awesome. Best shower I've had. I just sat in the chair and kind of put my foot up. Hello! Hi vlog. Um, as you can tell, I am very greasy today. Um, it is time for me to attempt having a shower. We are finally able to find a shower chair. So I'm going to try to shower for the first time since I got my cast off, which I'm really looking forward to. I only had to shower once with the cast. I wish I could have done it more, but it was such a pain in the butt. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the chair and everything. Probably gonna have to wear a bathing suit while I'm getting into the tub because I'm gonna need help getting into the tub, but yeah. Really excited about that. Um, if you haven't seen the series, make sure to check out the rest of the series. Um, my video of me getting my cast off will be here for you. Here's the chair that I will be using. And here's the bathtub. So hopefully that ends up working. It fills up almost the whole bath, but what are you gonna do, right? So hopefully that works. Oh my God, like somebody get me to a spa. Like, oh my God, look at me. I look like a hobo. The other thing I find really funny is I carry around this pouch with me like it's my care package because that's how I carry my items when I'm hopping around on my crutches. I use this little Lululemon bag. So yeah, that's what that, that's what this is about. Honestly, this could be a look though. Greasy hair, messy. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Okay, so update. Shower was awesome. Best shower I've had. I just sat in the chair and kind of put my foot up. Um, I was able to shave my legs a little bit. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, look how fat my ankle is. That is so gross. And there it is. So, yeah. And the thing is, though, is the, f like, my foot, this is so gross, but the foot, like, smells like sweat like permanently like I couldn't get it out I'm just interrupting myself to say it's because of the boot that I have been wearing non-stop that's making my feet smell like sweat because it's in a warm and you know dr like sweaty place they just don't it's not like they smell for no reason so I'm gonna do a foot bath Cash is gonna help me with it because it just won't stop smelling so I'm gonna get changed and do a foot bath Here's the um, the bath concoction for my foot, so feels pretty good. And I'm feel so clean and nice now. It's great, great day. One eternity later. Update, Canada lost the game. <laughs> so they're they're not qu gonna qualify for, aren't we actually winning the, bleh, bleh, bleh. they're not gonna qualify for actually winning the World Cup, but they have one more game, so hopefully they end it with a bang. First win for Canada in the World Cup, if they win. Um, this is, I just wanna talk about this bathroom setup. So I was sitting, I'll show you guys. I, I was sitting in this chair with my foot up there, and then had the shower, it worked really well. Um, and this is like a chair, this is an outdoor chair, so it worked really well. But, yeah, you know, if you need a little tip, that's how you do it. Hey guys, it's later. Um, I'm currently watching Twilight, but I just wanted to update you on something that I just find really bizarre. Because I think my leg is, like, reacting to being in a cast for, like, three weeks. This is kind of gross, but look how all the skin is, like, flaking off, like, scaling. Isn't that gross? But it's weird. It's not like it's dry, but it's, like, flaky. And it's only the part where the cast was. The rest of my leg isn't like that. Just the part where the cast was. And it's happening today, not even right after. Isn't that bizarre? Huh. Some lotion could probably help. All right, y'all. I finished a new art piece today, as you would have saw it earlier. I literally don't know what came over me. I haven't even seen the Batman 
and well I know what came over me what I'm lying I was watching Twilight <laughs> and I was researching Robert right and then I saw this picture of him it's like I need to draw that I love that and then now I really need to watch the Batman but here's a finished drawing it looks pretty dope it's this is really hard to see with the camera recording the screen but like I got that stubble in there yeah, I don't know. I gotta keep practicing though. I gotta get better. This is ridiculous. I was like a child prodigy and now I'm just like pretty good, you know? Well, I mean, I mean, okay. I mean pretty good in terms of like a 20 year old digital artist in a digital artist world. I want to be like really, really good in the 20 year old digital artist world. Obviously compared to an average person, I am really good, but I want to be really good amongst the artist community, so I'm gonna keep practicing digital art and keep figuring out how to properly color things and stuff, but I'm happy about it. I think it looks really good. And again, if you don't follow me on my art account on Instagram, it's Mia Sketch. Um, I'll put it somewhere here. You can search it up and yeah, check out my art, my talent. Three days later. Hey guys. Um... I'm on a Twilight Marathon, as I was talking about yesterday with my Robert Peter Peter Pita Pita Pata Sin drawing. I'm watching Breaking Dawn Part 1 right now, I'm almost done the series. And then I'm gonna do some art, I think I'm gonna do an Andrew Garfield drawing next. Um, but yeah, I'm on this art tangent right now because I feel like, you know, I used to do art all the time and then I have like, with my life I didn't have time to do anything and now that I'm forced to do basically nothing, it's the perfect time to pick it back up again. So, we're gonna do some art today and that's pretty much my plan, it's just to hang out, do some art, maybe play some video games. Um, pretty chill, but I'm excited. I had a bagel for breakfast and some coffee. Um, I ran out of aspirins, but my dad's gonna get some more for me. Which is important because, you know, we don't want any blood clotting. But here's the here's how the leg looks. I've been spending more time outside the boot just because I feel like it's good for the healing process to have some air. So here's my leg. Wow, why does that muscle look so defined? What the heck? Um, it's really dry. Like, no matter what I do, it's always super dry. And I don't really understand why, but like, yeah. You can kind of see how the muscles look a little bit different. Good morning, everybody. It's like two in the afternoon. I slept for way too late, basically, is the conclusion of that. Um, I am going to get ready for, I have like a dinner thing today. Um, so we're gonna get ready for that together. And I have to find something to wear. So we're gonna get ready for that. Um, I'm debating even having a shower. Um, I just wanna talk a bit about my foot. Yesterday, I started getting these random like spots where it was like bruising and I started getting really like it started to get like a different color it was kind of like this purple color and I was like oh my god I'm freaking out but it ended up all being okay everything's fine it's just crazy how like sensitive it can be depending on like what you eat and how high or low you have your leg or how long it's in the boot and like everything right but it gets swollen so easily so I have to be really careful the little like tape things that are on it are like I'm worried they're going to fall off, but whatever. Um, I kind of want to have a shower, so I might attempt doing that by myself and see how it goes. Okay, so here's the plan. There's a ledge here, and then there's this little thing I'm going to sit on. I'm going to sit on the ledge and try to swing and like kind of like shimmy on here. It should work. I can do this by myself, right? We're going to attempt. Um, <laughs> we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> I officially had my first shower! Alone. Alone. I don't feel like a little baby anymore. I didn't specify, I mean alone as in I didn't need any assistance to get in and out of the tub. Just so you know. This uh, stool just happens to be the perfect height to be able to get in and out by yourself. If it was any lower, it would be sketchy because then I'd have to like push my body up and swing off the ledge but I just slide in and slide out so that's so I'm so happy about that now all I'm gonna do is shower guys that's all I'm gonna do now I didn't wash my hair because it was still like super soft and clean and smelled good so I think I'm gonna curl it and yeah time to get pretty three weeks later okay I just got 
change into a shirt really quickly and these black pants I don't know if I'm gonna wear this or not yet these are actually my work pants so it's kind of weird to be wearing them but they're like the Aritzia kind of like baggy by your ankle pants I forget what they're called but I don't know I don't know what I want to wear many months later Okay, what do you guys think? Pretty chill. Just wanted to look like I got up and got ready for the day. So I'm gonna brush my teeth now and then kind of just get ready to get picked up. I'm debating if I wanna wear a belt with these pants though. I don't think so, I'm sure it's fine. I have a hole in my pocket and my phone just fell all the way down to my boot, but I got it, so it's okay. I'm making breakfast now. I'm going to make a cream cheese bagel with some salami on it and have a coffee because that just seems to be the easiest thing to do. So yeah, my legs are already starting to hurt from standing up. Okay, I'm gonna set this up so you guys can watch how I walk when I have one hand not on the crutch. It's super inconvenient. We're gonna try to bring my coffee over. Keyword, try. Oh my god, I'm gonna spill. Okay. So, I squeeze my other crutch in between my armpit and my arm. You guys see that? Probably not. But I do this, like, have my arm out here and just squeeze it like this, and then I lose it like this. And like, literally just like, it's really inconvenient and it's not a good idea if uh, your leg is like, hurts when you put contact on it because I'm not putting any weight on it. But I'm using it to help stabilize this side of my body. Oh my God, that was so hard. Well, now you know how I do it, guys. Tonight was fun. I'm glad I got out of the house, had some dinner. We had some really good food. We had spaghetti and um, it's really good, like, like what was it? It was a raspberry shortbread type cake. It was so good. I'm about to hit the hay. I'm going to wash my face and stuff. It's getting really hard to keep talking about my leg. I don't know what else to talk about, you know, like... Uh, my days are kind of boring. The only thing that's really giving me motivation to keep track of the days is my YouTube channel and even that is starting to start to like my motivation is just plummeting and Because all I'm doing nowadays is watching movies and playing video games and it's just like so repetitive and boring um, So maybe I, I was thinking maybe I should start writing movie reviews <laughs> While I'm watching I watched like seven movies yesterday because I was so sick of playing video games. And then today, I finally got out of the house. But, like, before and after. Like, watching YouTube, stuff like that. And it's just... So, I don't know. I need to do some art or something. And just kind of, like, get my head out of the clouds a bit. But... Um, and if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see when it comes to a broken leg, please comment down below. I always look at every comment. So, maybe I'll pick some. And, yeah. So, who knows? Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna take my, I literally have one aspirin left. But, it's okay. You can buy them at, like, Shoppers Drug Mart. The last one. But I'm gonna keep this container, because it's cool. It says my name on it. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. I'm gonna go edit this now for ya. Um, so thank you for watching the video make sure to comment like and subscribe um, I always appreciate when you guys show support and I will be back later this week um, 
Christmas is coming up. I think I might do a Christmas themed vlog pretty soon here because Christmas is like, it's around the corner, which is crazy to me. Hopefully I start figuring that out. Tree's gonna go up soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you soon.